Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Digi Bros. We're playing in the Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards! Kirby and the Crystal Shards! It's Victor's playing once again, breaking this the mic as usual. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. This used to be my favorite game of all time until Sonic Adventure 2 Battle came out. Was it really? It was. This was my favorite game until That's I right. beat Sonic Adventure 2. That, it's a... <laughs> So, it's uh, a N64 game. Let's do this. First yeah, cut. Oh shit! Older. Right in, right into it. Somehow, like it didn't even click in my head that those would have been like more than a year apart. Yeah, you know? no, it was a while apart. I think. I don't know. I think this was a this late, my this favorite a very game. late N64. We never game. owned this game. We always rented it from Blockbuster, but we rented it a lot of times. Yeah, I do remember that. I own it now. So I found that shit. Um, yeah. I was gonna say I bought you it, but that was a Yoshi story that I got you for your birthday God, one time. Oh, oh, they're so happy. Look at how happy everything is. Yes, Kirby Yay. is one of my favorite video Pop game star. franchises. Um, Dude, I have. You got know, a crayon. You're fucking getting the levels of the crayon. I have a great video on Kirby, but I don't think I re uploaded it and I don't know where it is. Uh huh. Um,. Oh my god, he's so cute! Yeah. I love this uh, perspective. You know, uh -huh. um, there's a lot going on in the background. So, what made this my favorite Kirby game? And what I cannot I believe has not been duplicated in another Kirby game is that you can combine powers. Right. So to get like, cooler powers. For some game, reason, it's not showing what powers I have on the bottom part there. Yeah, it should be showing. But it's that. super cool. I don't like the flame arrows actually, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna toss that. Actually, I don't see any of the information that should fire. be at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, the the bottom of the screen is broken, but um, I can combine powers. It's all good. We don't need to know. <laughs> So, yeah, why the fuck has this never been done in another Kirby I game? I think it was in the most recent one, wasn't it? In the, no. the Wii one? The, not someone the Wii or Wii U? Combine them. The Wii. Um, the, the Wii the one Wii was whatever, Return, to yeah, Return to Dreamland. Dreamland. No, you cannot combine them in that. Oh, hey, it works again. Alright, that's how it should look. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck was going on a minute oh, ago. Oh, fucked up that mini boss. Yeah, super odd, because um, it's such a cool mechanic. Obviously, yeah. made me love the game just because I love like finding all the powers and using them, and because you can get a sword, and that's awesome. Right. Um. Since the video probably doesn't exist right it's now, food. although there is a text version of it, but no one reads the text versions of my shit, dude. It's it's funny. My channel's been down, and people keep asking me like, they're like, oh man, it's such a shame. I really wanted to see that one analysis video, and I'm like, you know, the the text version's still there, like. The Some entire analysis the, the fire thing, is man. preserved. Anyways. Yeah, the bottom of the screen is very broken. Oh, this is a cool power if I can get this. Um, yeah. I'm like, you know, the Shit. text versions are all Fuck. there, and people are Never just mind. like, yeah, I'll wait for you to re-upload it. And I'm like, god damn, people don't know how to read. I can't see my health, so I don't know if I'm dying. This is... <laughs> this, this is, is hard beautiful. mode, okay? okay? This this is great. It's Kirby, you shouldn't be getting hurt. Yeah, I mean, I was being reckless. This is an easy fucking game. Dude, Kirby... Kirby is an easy game until you decide you want to be reckless. <laughs> exactly. Because if you've seen until my, you're really just not even thinking about it. My at all. fucking K on videos where I'm playing Kirby and I was like I was in a bad mood and I was like I'm just gonna fucking I'm just gonna play this as recklessly as possible. I'm just gonna run through. But I'm like it's not like I know the game well enough to speed run it. I'm yeah. just it's like a fake speed run where I just run forward uh, at a high speed and don't concern yeah. myself with safety. And uh, a lot of the enemies, I decided that my face was the best weapon to kill them with. <laughs> of course. But that's what's cool about Kirby and what I talked about in my video is that uh, it's it's a game where you are unbelievably overpowered. Because like anything you do in this game will kill an enemy. There we you go. You can fucking literally walk into an enemy Man, and I got they the will best die. power right before the level ended. <laughs> well, you still have it in the next you one, are. right? I think so. Oh yeah, I think I do, because I used to go out and like try to get the Also, there's a boss. You gotta thing. fight Waddle D. Yeah! Look at him. He's so happy to have that shard. Until this fucking eyeball just comes and fucks oh, this whole no, shit up. No, 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 oh. no, Waddle D, no! Oh, oh my god, look at the little, little girl you got with my you. Fairy. Ah, I think she's only in this game, too. Yeah. And, ah, uh, why? Should have brought her back. She should oh, be a main character. Oh, shit! 
Oh, oh god, he's become the devil. Can I just say that this game already perfect? Yes. Already the greatest Already game. the greatest game. It's so fucking cute. I wish I could see my health bar so I could stop being reckless. <laughs> Owned! Love this power. I turned into fireworks. I love that how, like, cool. I'm, I'm sitting here like, oh Kirby, and you're like, yeah! Yeah, Kirby! Kirby. Yeah, Kirby! I turned into the fireworks! Like, somehow in your head, this is like... <laughs> it is. That's what it was to me as a kid. This was the coolest thing, man. I didn't like it because it was adorable. I liked it because it was badass. Yeah. Um, well, as kids, we we grew up on cute stuff. Yeah. But I don't think we really thought of it as Yeah, I never cute. realized it was cute. I was never yeah. accepting of cute until I got became an adult and realized Victor, that everything I enjoyed was the like volume this of adorable your voice. crap. It's not it's, a, I can see the audio. It's not I spiking. turned it down. <laughs> you yell constantly. That's, We're talking to each not, other. Not my We're fault. three feet apart. I can't help it. I get excited. I'm talking to You're the microphone. You're shouting like mom on the phone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My mom talks on the phone like she's trying to like like you are the like 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 there is no phone and she's trying to talk to you at the actual distance you are from her. Victor, uh, I know you've heard that joke before, but you could at least react with some enthusiasm. The audience hasn't heard the joke. You pretend you, you've never you heard really, it. You really, you really kill my my momentum <laughs> and my fun when you break the fourth wall. And then it's like, oh wow, I'm sorry, I was enjoying myself and actually fucking talking to for this stream. You know, I'll shut the fuck up. Is that what you want? No, I <laughs> just. Just talk quietly. You, you've hurt my feelings. You're so loud it hurts. I can't talk quietly. Like, I physically have a headache because you are shouting in my ear. Well, this is just my feelings. Just, I'm not I'm trying, trying to hurt your feelings. Just fucking talk normal. I am talking normal. This is me. <laughs> All right, what did you, what did you have to Conrad say about Kirby? Can't Jesus accept Christ. me for who I am. <laughs> Comment <laughs> below. What? <laughs> what are they gonna comment? Team Victor. <laughs> They're gonna comment. My ears are fucking broken. I can't. I don't know what Victor's asking me to type in the comments because he broke my ears. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, friendship. He's helping me out. Oh my god. Right on cards. Whoa, what's this background? That is kind of cool. Whoa. I never noticed how cool that was. It's totally different. It's pretty spiffy. Yeah, Kirby games always tend to, to to have like some pretty interesting visual design. Bro, that's like art, bro. Because it's it's such a straightforward game that like you know they I guess they have a lot more time to focus on. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, you know, like 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 the graphics aren't high fidelity, no. so they can worry about making them interesting. So there's like three hidden shards in every level. That's how you fail at getting one of them. Yes. <laughs> the the idea now behind my awesome the crystal shards is that you must. Like, and that's what's what's cool about Kirby games is that um, there's a very low skill floor. You can beat these super easily. Like mm -hmm. any any, the first Kirby game was literally made to be an introduction to platformers for people who had never played them before. It was for the Game Boy, the original Game Boy mm -hmm. before it had color, and it was supposed to be uh, like like a guide to teach kids. And uh, I, I believe it was marketed towards young children and girls who weren't really into video games. Mm. And that's why he was like pink and adorable because they wanted it to be accessible to both boy like uh, kids and girls. And um, it was supposed to teach them how to play platformers because shit like Mario was too fucking hard. So, it is, because uh, I, I, it's hard. Kirby I has, suck at Mario 64 as a kid. Like Kirby 1, it becomes more challenging as it goes, but it, the, the penalties for failure are super low. Oh. You know, like at worst you restart a level. Um, and it, they're yeah. easy and fun. And so, but they also, as time went on, developed a really high skill ceiling where if you get good enough at a Kirby game, you can play it much faster or get like much better items and, and like uh, and get different get the cool hidden combos, things. Like I've Cause like been uh, trying to do. Like Kirby 1, which was, or not Kirby 1. Wait, like, it's Arto. After the Game Boy 1, the Owned. Kirby's. Kirby's Nightmare and or rather wait what's the first one called Kirby in Dreamland is that it Kirby in Dreamland for the NES um, introduced a bunch of powers that made it so you could go faster through the stages and if you knew the layout well and you knew the controls well and you had the right powers you could traverse the game much more quickly so it fed into the early speedrunner culture which was developing in the early 90s and uh, then there was um, 
shit. I'm trying to think and I'm suddenly getting tired. <laughs> There's a... Oh, fucking the hell shit. Is this? this game... Is that, a, is that censored? <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe the so. The fuck is this? This game introduces, like, the crystal shards where if you're good enough... You know, because some of them are more complicated to get where you have to have, like, the right power combinations yeah. and stuff when you go through. Uh, which we never mastered as kids. Uh, I don't know. It's been a long time going for it. I remember oh, there being God. a couple oh, shards that we never got. I, like, tried to look for a dodge button just now. <laughs> Like, what do I think I'm playing? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, like, Return to Dreamland yeah. introduces, like, all kinds of challenge modes and shit like that. I just love... I I implore you, go watch people do speedruns of, like, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland for the GBA, which is a remake of the NES game. And, like, basically as soon as they get the wheel power, the whole game just radically changes. <laughs> like, uh. it becomes, how fast can I wheel through all of Kirby? Or the jump power, high jump power. It's pretty cool. Kirby speedruns are fun. Yeah. You can beat Kirby games sometimes. Like, the shorter ones, nah. I mean, they're all short. But you can beat the shorter ones in, like, half an hour if you're good. There's no way this game is more than a couple hours long playing uh, at normal speed. I don't know, cause there's, there's more of a fixed pace in this game, I think. I remember, there's though, nothing like... where you could just, like, break it and go super fast, like the, the speed wheel and right, shit. Right, but I remember, like, playing through this in an afternoon after we got it on the N64. Like... Uh, cause, like, as kids, we thought this was, like, a yeah. big game. As kids, <laughs> we did definitely thought it was much longer. Right. And, like, the only reason I had played the last boss is because there was, like, a save file on the rented version. Right. That, that was, like, at the end of the game. Owned! I don't know what you did. Me but either! <laughs> he did not like that. I don't remember, actually, that's a boy or a girl. Ah, uh, it's very I think, it, I think it's a girl. It's got a skirt on. It's probably a girl. Probably a girl. You know, not to be heteronormative fives, or anything. No, nah, man, it identifies or a as, gender, uh, as gender a girl, normative. but it's a boy. I think it's probably a girl. I identify as a fish. Um, do you go bloop, 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 bloop? Yes, I go bloop, bloop, you bloop, go bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> I am a bloop master. Are both of your eyes on one side of your head? Both of my eyes are on both sides of my, oh my head. God. <laughs> Wait, like one is it's, on each or there's two on each? It's very convenient. <laughs> I thought you were going to say confusing because that's how it sounds. It's confusing to explain. It's hard to buy glasses, but it's, it really, it's an advantage. Uh, are you a gay fish? Um, you're confusing me for a gentleman named Kanye West. How did you know that's where I was going with that? <laughs> because you can never say gay fish anymore without it being Kanye West. I got the thing back, yes! How did you know I was going to ask if you like fish dicks? <laughs> I really love this power. Oh. I do like fish dicks. Oh, man. <laughs> An episode. It's such a bad episode of South Park. Like, I love South Park, but that episode is fucking terrible. And it's really just to make that Kanye West joke. Oh man, I love Ugh. Kanye West. If you haven't seen it before, I highly, HIGHLY recommend looking up the video of Kanye West talking about Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> I cannot so good. possibly recommend this enough. It's just like a minute long of Kanye West talking about how people look at him like he's the glitch from Wreck-It Ralph <laughs> and how he, it's in his code to be the so way he good. is. It's, it's in my code. It's in my code. It's in my code. Tell me they don't look at me like I'm the motherfucking glitch. Oh, man. <laughs> A true classic. It's worth is worth every moment of your time that you will mm. spend watching it. One of my favorite. I want to make a musical time. called Kanye West Side Story. And and uh, I'm not being facetious here. I do my beautiful dark twisted fantasy is one of my favorite albums. Um, but I only like it when I'm in a weird bad mood. <laughs> Usually when I'm really drunk. Oh, if, yeah. if I'm drunk and sad, that album is like perfect. 
In fact, that's how I got into it. I uh, I didn't like it at first, but then one time I was like really drunk and it, the whole night had like kind of gone to shit. Because you have to, you know, you have to feel like Kanye West when you listen to right, it, which exactly. is drunk and sad. And <laughs> that's, a, that's, I mean, that's the theme oh, of the right. album Fuck is yeah, being look. like he just helped me out. on a this, crazy this, bender. This is a game about friendship. Yeah, it I is, just walked beautiful. through. This motherfucker gave me this a one-up. This game is fucking perfect. It's just, it, it's like getting a high five right in the middle of the yeah, game. It's yeah, yeah. Like, all right, the you're whole, doing good. No, not thank you for playing. Not this. just that, the whole game is like getting the, a high yes, five. Yes, the whole game is a high five. <laughs> that is the greatest <laughs> analysis of Kirby ever to be power. made. Final oh, analysis. You, this is the only one. You, you needed need. the cup power to go back for that crystal shard. Yeah, but I hate the cup power. <laughs> Yeah. It's the lamest one of the game. You throw half of yourself like a boomerang. Fine, I'll do it. You need it. Let's, it? let's get 100%. Wait, make sure that's the cup power. It is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I, yeah, I, I no know. Point, my, there's no point in playing this game without colors. getting uh, all, the, all the shards. I'm glad there's like a dash run. That feels good. I wonder if it's there's very one things where it's like, it has to be slow because like the game couldn't process fast enough and like render what's Maybe, going on. Maybe, but this was like late era N64. I mean, I guess the way the whole yeah. room is spinning could be pretty advanced, but like, you're moving really slow. Yeah, I'd say that's one, the one problem about this game. Ah, shit. It's not cut power? Maybe I need like the, the double, double cut, cut power. Fuck. Man. Man, fuck, I don't want to spend all this time doing this. I just wanna, I just wanna go. I just wanna be the Kirby. Ooh, yeah, I do love me some Kirby. Yeah, boom. But yeah, I, oh man, Kirby's one of my favorite game characters ever because he's fucking pink and round, and he eats everything. Yes. He just eats. You identify everything. well with Kirby. Yes, I'm pink. I'm round. I eat everything. Um. I, I run headfirst into my problems and don't give a fuck about how much it hurts me. Mm -hmm. um, That's, oh, so deep now. <laughs> yeah, it did get pretty deep there. That's I mean, that's so deep. That's I keep thinking I saw that power. It doesn't fucking tell me when I don't have the powers anymore. This yeah, that's really confusing. Not digging this. <sighs> oh, Mitch. <sighs> This, game this is, is the right one because it's got the light this, coming. This down. is like the ultimate change of pace oh, from yeah. Sonic. Oh, definitely. Like Sonic felt. Oh shit, King D D D. Sonic, uh, Sonic felt like it was you, constantly assaulting me with like yes. all of my senses, and this with is like just pleasant everything. and nice and adorable, and I love it. <sighs> it's just everything is so fucking pleasant in Kirby. Yes. The moment no, I, I truly realized, like. Cause I mean, I've always loved Kirby games, and I've always loved Kirby in, oh, like, shit. Smash Bros. But the moment I really realized that I was a huge Kirby fan was actually while watching Game Grumps play Epic Yarn. Because mm -hmm. I'd, I'd never played, and I still have not played Epic Yarn. But they were playing it, and it just looked like the, the best game ever. Like, it was oh. so fucking adorable. And they were so enchanted by it. And I was just like, oh, man, Kirby. And then I saw Shade playing Return to Dreamland at one point. Oh. It was like a year after the game had come out. You just out. love the idea of Kirby. It's and not even the no, game. No, no, no. I played Return to Dreamland. <laughs> um, I played some of it for my video uh -huh. to take footage from it and shit. And uh, I was because I was watching Shade play it, and I was like, "Whoa, this is like so much more advanced than any other Kirby game." Yeah. Because Return to Dreamland is like it's way longer than the other games. It's got tons of secret shit. It's got like all these like hard mode and challenge modes. Like that is that to me is like the pinnacle of Man. of Kirby. Like as a as a game game, you yeah. know? Like, a, as a game that you're supposed to, like, spend a lot of time on and get really in-depth into. Um, and I fucking love it. I started playing it, and I, I played the one of the challenge modes, and they're incredibly well-designed. And I was instantly like, this could be one of my favorite games. Shit. And then, uh... I made the mistake I always make, Bollocks. which is um, when I make a video about something, I then will have no desire to continue engaging with it. Oh, it's like if I make a video, if I make a video about a show or a game, then that's like the po the moment I'm done. Yeah. So I, like I always tr and and like I, it's been confirmed so many times, like not even on purpose. It's like me when I when I buy things in bulk, like right. Like, I'll be really into this this protein bar, and then I'm like, yeah, I'll get a bunch of protein bars, and then I, I have no interest in that anymore at all. Right. It's just a curse. 
Um, like, it's jinxing it. I think the last time it happened, I was trying my hardest not to let it happen. Oh, but, um, really? I ran into the apple and I died. Yep. Beautiful. It was, uh, with the manga for One Piece, because I really wanted to do a video on why I think One Piece is a good manga, and uh, I made my video, and then I was like 160 chapters in out of like nine fucking hundred or however, 600 something. I was like 160 chapters in, and then after I made the video, I just did not feel the drive to continue, uh -huh. which is a shame, because there's still a lot more, and I've heard it gets much better, but... You know, um, I live for analysis, and when I run out of that, then it's hard to keep interest. So I did the, the Kirby video, and then did not play any more Return to Dreamland, and I regret it to this day. You failure. And I still can't bring myself to play any video games if I don't think I'm going to do a video on it. It's yeah. just impossible to justify. Because you, like, uh, you like to tell people what you're thinking. I just, I like to produce content constantly. Yeah, to produce content. I don't like to have a big weight. Like, I, I usually don't watch anime unless I have someone to talk about it with. Because it's right. like, well, why would I watch that when I can watch a show that I can discuss and, like, yeah. engage with, with other people? <sighs> Which is That's pretty my, much my any show, because your thing. best friend watches every fucking anime. Yeah. <laughs> Hope is like a fucking But then, it, you know, she anime. won't watch robot shows. So it's like, I'm not going to go watch some 70s robot show and then be like, Oh, well, I mean, let's talk I meant, about that. I meant she watches all new shows. Yeah. Like, but it doesn't matter what watch new robot shows. shows. <laughs> what new robot shows? There aren't any new... That's, that's a good point. Wait, what, you wanted to watch fucking Cross Ainge? I was trying to get her to watch uh, g Record with me. I'm sure but she'd enjoy Build Fighters. Probably not. You don't think she'd like Build Fighters? She doesn't give a fuck about robots. You have to give a fuck about robots to enjoy Build Fighters. Not if you like... Dude, she likes some shows that she could not possibly give a fuck about what it's about, as long uh, as it's got, like, cute um, little nah, kids. I don't think G-Reco's cute enough. It's pretty <laughs> fucking... Not G-Reco. Gundam I Build mean, Fighters. yeah, Build Fighters. I don't think Build Fighters is cute enough. It's pretty fucking cute. Mm. Anyways, uh, guys, this cutscene, we're gonna wrap up the first episode Yeah, we beat Kirby. the first, uh... I let it, world, I let it so. run extra long, just because, uh... Kirby. We didn't talk much at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs>